Okay, we're going to show you how to assess the postromedial uh, knee joint. So first of all, you, you identify the bony landmark, and then this case is the tibia here on the right side of the picture with a nice notch, like concave little notch. That's the footprint where the, where the thick tendon of the semi-membranosus is, is touched. And, and then we see the joint line here with the femur condyle on the left side and articulate cartilage on top. So that's the starting point. Now, to line up the, the fibers of the semi-membranosus, we're going to turn the, the, pro, the, the proximal part of the probe medially, fishtail it, until we see the longitudinal fibers of the semi-membranosus coming through. And that's sort of your first assessment point, the semi-membranosus tendon. Okay. Now we're going to go back and optimize it for the joint, in this case the postural medial joint. So we move the probe a little bit more posteriorly and then we optimize it for what is the postural medial meniscus, the peripheral margin of the postural medial meniscus. Now what is a nice picture here is that you see the postural medial meniscus and how it is stuck to the capsule on top and how that is in close relation to the overlying semimembranosus tendon. So if, you, if I angle it a little bit, you can literally see there the, the peripheral margin where it stops, which is the white line there, and the capsule just on top. And in this position, you could do an assessment with bending the knee slowly and see how that capsular and meniscus unit move together. So that is the assessment of the postural medial meniscus and the various layers. Now we go to the central part in the posterior knee to assess for the, for the PCL. The first thing to do is identify the tibia and the plateau. It's a vertical drop in this picture. And as we go to the center part of the knee, that starts to become like a ski slope, like a mountain, like this. And the only structure on top of that is the PCL. Usually it's a black, dark, hypoechoic structure. In this, in this case, if we angle it a little bit more, but putting the proximal probe part down, you can start to see some of the fibers of the PCL. And if it's injured, it will start getting thicker. It pushes the capsule upwards. Um, and of course, your clinical test will also confirm that. And it's just not to confuse with any effusion that you, you might find in the joint. This dark area is the PCL, it's not an effusion.